Omenio Dan is my name. Peace and unity have been universally accepted as ingredients for development of nations. The absence of peace and unity, analysts say, spell doom and often give rise to civil disturbances, insurgency, conflicts and other violent reactions. Analysts are quick to say that countries like Syria, Libya and Somalia could trade places for peace due to the devastating effect of conflicts and violence have had in these countries. Nigeria in recent times is faced with challenges that include calls for restructuring, agitations, hate speech which undermine national unity and peace. The government and schools of thought have condemned in strong terms such actions and advised Nigerians against breaking the bond of unity and peace which is an imperative to the progress of the country. They believe that Nigeria's unity is non-negotiable and that those calling for separation are doing so based on selfish reasons where did Nigeria veer off the path it set out at independence. How welcoming are calls on people not to mistake freedom of speech, of speech with his speech? What are the best solutions for a united and peaceful country to consolidate on developmental gains? Answers after this background report by Kolo Muhammad. Nigeria, like other countries of the world, looks to peace times to take its economy and citizens towards the path of prosperity. Checking with history, however, reveals Nigeria made the most of its current progress during peace times. For the other times, however, the spoils are there, serving as visual signposts telling the story of the cost of war. Nigeria's resilience, evident in its ability to restart its journey towards progress after so many needless clashes and political unrest, perhaps should make us pause to ponder and consider advancing those things that unite us while toning down divisive tendencies. I think that what we need to do more in our country is to leave the truth in the African saying that if you want to go far, go with the people. If you want to go fast, go alone. This country has reached a point where we need to conceptualize how far we want to go. And I think we can go very far, which means that a lot of consultations must be you know, uh, uh, carried out across various uh, blocks in this country so that we can be sure that Nigeria knows its destination. The civil war remains a towering reminder of the nation's darkest moments. Once again, Nigeria's resilience pulled the country back together after the war. One of the major players in the civil war summed up the need to give enduring peace a chance this way. So a lot of people will say, the first one, yes, I love the first one. I don't think a second one is necessary. We should have learned from that first one. As a people, we all have roles to play in ensuring peace and unity in Nigeria. For peace also to reign, that will be righteousness, justice, equity, and fair play. And that's come to all of us beginning from those who are ruling us, those who are in the leadership position, they must ensure justice. They must ensure right, righteousness and equity. While the security agencies work hard to contain insurgency, militancy, and other forms of crimes, a new wave of incitement has been hatched, and that is hate speech. Experts have identified hate speech as a capable instrument to start civil, social, and religious unrest. Push you understand that anybody that is preaching you that is preaching to you to hate somebody or to go and kill somebody or to go and cut the neck of somebody, that one is your enemy. Do not see him as your leader. It's not somebody to be followed. It's not somebody to be to, to, to be respected. The moment you hear somebody telling you like that, what he's trying to do is to destroy your life and to destroy your future. 
At 57, with all the challenges, Nigeria's economy remains systemic in Africa and one of the fastest growing in the world. We can achieve more together in peace and unity. Let this part of our national anthem be our creed. One nation bound in freedom.